here you can see the portal uh, of Luminous. Luminous is our energy provider in Belgium and uh, I want to talk about the gas or the natural gas that they provide to our households which we use for our heating. So at this moment we pay a monthly advance of 90 euros and a couple of weeks back we received an email that they wanted to increase it to 360 euros which is of course quite a lot. So I started thinking of ways on how we can reduce energy costs and optimize the way we we use our heating system. Eh? Um, so if we look at where the biggest consumers are, then it's of course in our, in our households, our gas boiler. Um, and we see this in the estimated consumption that during the winter months, we have a, a high uh, gas usage. Eh? Uh, of course, this is an estimation. Um, but during the summer, we only use gas for, yeah, shower heating uh, or heating the shower water but in winter it's this is the main consumer the house heating yeah so i want to optimize that and so that's we i hope we can reduce these costs last year i are between 2021 and 2022 um we used roughly 700 cubic meters of natural gas which corresponds to 8000 uh, kilowatt hours of energy so this is our wall mounted gas boiler by Vaillant it turns natural gas into functional heat which is then used for the heating of the households and the heating of the showers and so on so uh, my goal is to connect it to home assistant where the presence detection will switch off the boiler uh, when a presence is detected in the house the boiler is connected to the to the grid, uh, but uh, Shelly 1PM controls if there is any power uh, available for the boiler or not. So when we control the Shelly 1PM, we can completely shut off the boiler or not. Like uh, you can see here. Here I just turned off the boiler uh, using a, a dashboard in Home Assistant. So. The switching off and on will be done automatically by uh, the presence detection. In order to reduce the uptime of the boiler, we first need to know when somebody is present in the household and thus when we need to heat the households. So I do this using Home Assistant as well. I use Nmap to check if certain devices are connected to the network. For example, if you look here, I look for five personal devices, two of me and then three devices of Eline. And then if one of the five devices is connected to the network, I assume that that person is home and that this heating has to be on. And that's just the summary in this bar. But it could also be the case that you're home, but you're, that you're not connected to the network. So therefore, I also check for uh, what the media players are doing in this home like the Chromecast TV, the, the Sonos. I look for what they're playing and, and if they're playing. And then I assume that, for example, if the Google Hub is playing radio, I can assume that somebody is using the Google Hub and that this somebody is present in the home. Um, and then I summarize that as well in this bar. Uh, this is just basically a big OR function of those four devices um, except for the Google Hub. I really take a look at what is playing because sometimes it could be pictures and that is not per se an indication that somebody is home. Now uh, there's an, also a different case where you're not connected with your personal device to the network and you're not playing any media. Then I also uh, take a look at are there any major powers being drowned from the grid? Uh, for example, I take a look here at uh, the power measurement of the oven, for example. If there are major powers, power is being drowned, I assume that somebody is using the oven and that somebody is thus home. So I uh, use all of this data to make a general presence detection uh, to check or verify if somebody is home. 
I then use this presence detection to control my automation for the heating system. So if nobody is home, uh, or the presence detection thinks nobody is home for longer than 20 minutes, I turn the heating off automatically. And then the same for turning it on the moment that you get home and you connect to the internet or something else. The presence detection will work on top of the regular thermostat. You can still easily control here at what room temperature we want the house to be. But we no longer have to take care of completely turning off the system when we go away for the weekend, for example. And now even during the day when we uh, leave the house for two hours, the boiler will completely turn off and uh, the heating system will no longer heat a house that is completely empty. So what cost reduction can we expect from using this automation? When looking for similar smart heating solutions, their articles or their tech sheets uh, always state a cost reduction of 10 to 20 percent. So um, I really hope we will be in the 20 percent range so we can save some costs on heating or household. But only time will tell and uh, I'll keep you posted after a couple of months what we were able to achieve.